Welcome back guys again another session with uh, biomaths biology with mathematics and from this video we'll be talking about the mathematical problem related to biochemical structure of DNA and RNA so let's begin with this question now it says that one of the strands of the double stranded 10 kvp DNA duplex has the following number of residues right and the number of residues means you know adenine is 3800 thymine 2600 what is the base composition of the whole double stranded dna so again in this kind of questions you need to read the question again and again to finally get what they are telling us they give us uh, the number of bases that is adenine and thymine for a double stranded uh, 10 kbp dna that means a 10 kilo base pair dna that is duplex and it has the following number of residues now for the whole uh, in this case Mm, one of the doubles of the strand contains this number of residues so read them very very carefully it is telling us that one of the strand of the double stranded dna has added in 3800 time in 2600 so what is the whole composition of bases for the overall double stranded dna so first things first what we need to know about all this type of questions we do not require any formula or math to do it's very gentle very easy now what we used to know what we require to know is some simple fact is that double stranded dna that we know of have two strands they have two different strands and once they have two strands that are telling two strands and both of the strands are complementary complementary to each other right so that means if in one strand there is a on the other strand there will be t if in one strand there is c on the other strand there will be uh, g right so similarly this thing happens to all the dna because that type of base pairing is called as watson creek base pairing and according to arvin shergoff and the rule of shergoff that's called the shergoff's rule it, it is stated that normally the, the, the base composition purine and pyrimidine in this case of a uh, composition and number of a will be similar to number of p and number of g is similar to number of c similar like that so in this case what they told us is that in one of the strands so let's draw the situation in, in the, this is say the strand a uh, not like, like strand one strand two two different strands complementary with each other in one strand they give us the idea that adenine is 3800 and thymine is 2600 from that what we can uh, get the, the understanding that we get if in this strand adenine is 3800 obviously in the opponent strand in the complemented strand the value for thymine will be the same right because adenine always pairs with thymine so the value for thymine will be in that strand will be the same right so here the thymine value will be 3800 similarly in this strand thymine is 2600 so similarly on the opposite strand here again uh, the value for adenine will be 2600 right so that thing we usually know completely know right so in this case what we will get the idea in this whole double stranded dna now in the whole double stranded dna by looking at the pairing we can say that adenine present in the number 3800 plus 2600 so total of 6400 this will be the number of adenine that is present in the whole double stranded dna and they have also told us that the dna is 10 kilo base pair that means 10 multiplied by 1000 so it will be 10,000 base pair among the 10,000 base pair 6,400 is of adenine here in that case right similarly in this case also thymine also stands for 6,400 right on the other hand what remains in there so from 10,000 if we subtract this value what remain is 
3600. Okay, so what we've got now is 3600. So remember this very, very carefully that they have told us that the total number of base pair is 10 kilo base pair. That means 10,000 base pair in the strand, right? So 10,000 base pair duplex means we are having total number of base pair that is 10,000. So we got 6,400 and that is from adenine and thymine because the number of base pairs of adenine and thymine will be the same in the DNA. Similarly, in this case, what we got remaining is 3,600. And this 3,600 among that total 10,000 base pair obviously contributes to cytosine and guanine. And again, similarly, like thymine and adenine, the number of base pairs for cytosine and guanine will be the same, that is 3600. So, the answer for the whole composition of bases for the DNA, it will be adenine and thymine, it will be 6400 and guanine and cytosine will be 3600. So, this is going to be the answer of this question.